Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we are looking at decomposing fractions. Let's begin by understanding what that means. Decomposing is just a fancy word you all that means to break apart. To break apart. Mix numbers, well, it kind of means what it sounds like. It is mixed with whole numbers and fractions. So uh, it's a number that has both in it, and you will see what that means in just a second here. All right, let's begin by looking at one of our examples today, which is 2 and 1 fourth. This is a mixed number. It has whole numbers and fractions in it. Uh, for this example, I'm going to break apart or decompose 2 and 1 fourth into three parts. Now keep in mind that I'm choosing to do this for the example, but on a question uh, in a math problem, you might be asked to break it up into two parts, or three parts, or four parts, and there are multiple ways to do that, but today we are going to look at three parts, and I'm going to try to show you with a visual here, or a demonstration, what two and one-fourth looks like. So let me go ahead and set this up. All right, and there we go. So right here on the right side, we have a model of two and one fourth, which if you look here, we have one whole plus another whole and one fourth, which makes a total of two and one fourth, two holes and one fourth. All right, so I'm gonna have you guys first look at this top hole. Again, this is a uh, one hole because it has four fourths in it. One, two, three, four fourths. So that completes the whole. And same thing, yep, you guessed it down here, one whole, which could also be called four fourths. This last uh, part of the, the mixed number is our fraction one fourth, which is what's left over. So we have our two, one, two holes, also written this way. And then we have that one fourth down there. Now four fourths, Again, that is the same as one whole. So if we put that four fourths there, we've covered one out of the two holes. So we're gonna take the other hole and rewrite it as four fourths over here. So again, if you look at the mixed number, two and one fourth, we can rewrite two as one hole plus another hole. But we're just writing it in a different way, you guys. It is it means the same thing. And then we take that last part of the fraction. So here you have one example, one way, one whole, one whole, plus one fourth, makes two and one fourth. And that's that for this example. We just broke apart or decomposed two and one fourth into three fractions. But for a second here, take another look at two and one fourth. We can actually rewrite it as the sum of four fourths plus four fourths plus one fourth, which is the same as nine fourths. So nine fourths is equal to two and one fourths, which is also equal to four fourths plus four fourths plus one fourth. All of this means the same thing. So let's go ahead and look at another way we can decompose two and one fourth. This time, let's break it apart or decompose it into two fractions because there are many ways you can decompose this mixed number. Now this time, since we only have two parts, I can't really break it up as one whole plus one whole plus one fourth. Decomposing it like that wouldn't fit in two sections. So I'm gonna look at it as nine fourths to help me kind of decompose it more easily. And I'm gonna use the same denominator because the size of the parts has not changed. They are still fourths, so my denominator is still fourths. And I'm gonna write nine fourths here so that you can see that nine fourths is the same thing as two and one fourth. So now all I'm thinking is, how can I make nine with two numbers? Ooh, I bet you all saw that coming. Six plus three makes nine. So if I add those two fractions, I have one, two, three, four, five, six fourths, plus one, two, three fourths makes 
nine fourths. Nothing has changed in my visual. I haven't changed the amount of parts. I just broke them up in a different way. So I decomposed two and one fourth as six fourths plus three fourths. Let's go ahead and just do one more example. And this time, let's push our limits, you guys. Let's see if we can handle a challenge. Let's break it up into four parts. Decompose into four parts. Again, denominator has not changed. The size of the parts has not changed. And uh, I'm going to remember to think of two and one fourths as nine fourths. That just kind of makes it easier for me to add it. So I'm going to go ahead and write nine fourths again to help you see that that is the same thing. And I gotta think, how can I make nine using addition? I need four numbers that add up to nine. Let's start with four. Uh, okay, we need some more. Let's uh, put in a two. So far that's six. Ooh, uh, two more, that's seven, eight, plus the last one. Nine. There, I just did it. Four fourths plus two fourths plus another two fourths plus one fourth makes nine fourths. I can do more examples, but I think you guys kind of get the idea. All of these are the same thing. They all equal two and one fourth. They are just decomposed a little bit differently. All right, so there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know this could seem a little bit confusing, so if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will get back to you with an answer. And if you're interested in more math and fraction videos, subscribe for more to come.